When you tuned into CKCB 1400 in Collingwood in 1971, you would have heard songs like Woodstock by Matthew Southern Comfort. I came upon a child of God. He was walking along the road. Watching Scotty Grow by Bobby Goldsboro. There he sits with a pen and a yellow pad. What a handsome lad. That's my boy. Knock Three Times by Tony Orlando and Don. Oh, my darling, knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. And Another Day by Paul McCartney without the Beatles. It's just another day. And you would have heard John Nichols introducing those songs in his first year with CKCB. Who knew at the time that John was just getting warmed up for an incredible 40-year run on the radio in Collingwood? The town came together on Friday, February 18th to celebrate John's 40th anniversary. 40 years, what are you thinking today? What are you reminiscing about? Holy man, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, this is uh, unbelievable. I, <laughs> from all of the sponsors that uh, we made it real here this morning. Uh, Jimmy Meredith here at the uh, right hand. Uh, opened up the doors and uh, the hospitality. Plus, I can't believe how many people have come in so far this morning. It's like a, a tsunami, if I could use that word. Uh, the memories. Uh, a lot of things that I've forgotten. Uh, they're resurrecting this morning when they come up to uh, see me. But uh, it's been a great ride, and uh, I thank everybody uh, that has come in. We'll probably come in, uh, between now and noon today. A lot of people coming in have their own stories. That must bring back some more memories. Oh yeah, everything from bad weather, uh, like going back to 1977 with uh, three days of being landlocked and couldn't go anywhere. And of course, I was stuck here at the at the station, trying to keep everybody abreast of what was going on. Another person mentioned, you remember the, the Blue Mountain Snow Drifter Snowmobile Club going all over the place, delivering medicine and food to people in, in need. That uh, that's when a community really comes together. And uh, as I say, in a small radio station in a small town, you can really connect with the people and you can really help out. That's the most satisfaction. Peak FM station manager John Eaton says the key to John Nichols' long run is his ability to connect with his audience. It's funny, you know, John has the talent to really have gone anywhere he wanted in broadcasting. So I think not only is a credit to John's career, but it's a credit to our community to hold a talent like that here for 40 years. And it's, uh, well, he said it about the connection, you know. I grew up listening to Toronto radio, but I never really knew the announcers. I just listened to them all the time. People in this town, as you can tell by the folks gathering here today, they not only listen to John, they know him. They know him really well. And I think that's the kind of connection that really is being celebrated by Collingwood Mayor Sandra Cooper was on hand to congratulate John and to present him with a gift from the town of Collingwood. Well, it's something that doesn't happen today at all. 40 years? Wow. It's amazing. And not only working for the radio station, but the community work that he does and helping with uh, emergency situations and in the hospital and the money's raised there. Just, it's more than just uh, at the radio station. He just is uh, such a great asset to our community. Mayor Cooper's father, former councillor Jack Bonwick, played an important role in helping to secure the broadcast license of CKCB in 1964. In a time when faxes, emails, and FTP sites were non-existent, Bonwick had to fly to Vancouver to pick up the license himself. Collingwood Public Utilities President Ed Houghton was a high school student when John arrived on the air at CKCB. Uh, John, on behalf of all of us at uh, Carlos Collingwood Public Utilities and uh, Public Works, we want to uh, congratulate you on 40 years. It's hard to believe that uh, you've been in the same town for 40 years. Well, I did bring something, and Marcus Furman and I came down, and, and um, what, what we brought you is a jacket from uh, uh, that we provide to all of our staff, and and because we think of you as part of our team, because uh, when when we have an issue, you help get that uh, information out to the public, and so you are part of our team. You're an integral part of that, and what what this jacket is, we give uh, we give something to our staff every year, and it's all based on safety, because our people are working with 44,000 volt lines. They're they're, they're working in the worst conditions, they're working with heavy equipment, and so what we want them to do is remember that the most important thing is to be safe, because we don't want to be able to phone their family and say that they're not coming home. So what we do is we give, we have a piece of uh, clothing that they can wear and on it that has a slogan. And this, this year simply it says, think safety. And John, we want you to wear this proudly and uh, be part of our team. Alan Eagleson popped by to present John with a special anniversary gift. John even got a new hat to wear on the golf course. Forty years later, Collingwood residents can still turn on their radios in the morning and John Nichols will bring them up to date on what's going on in their community.